the disturbing discovery of a 16 year old sold for sex at a local casino. It's one of the many recent cases with ties to suspects coming here from out of town. News 11's Chris Hayes is here revealing the latest criminal case while telling us about the newest efforts to combat child exploitation. Chris, the defendants, two women, Mike, accused of selling a minor for sex. River City Casino this past Friday, February 23rd, St. Louis County Police say Mac Mitchell from Memphis and Angel Henderson from Florissant allegedly sold a 16-year-old for sex. Court records add it is anticipated the ongoing investigation will reveal further minor victims. The casino told Fox 2 today it's the one that caught it, saying in a statement that staff undergo an extensive human trafficking training course, which outlines the prevalence of the problem, and it teaches our employees the signs and symptoms to look out for. It added it was one of our frontline team members who brought this matter to the attention of our security team and ultimately local police. Both law enforcement and survivor advocates say traffickers begin their recruitment of children online. Partnerships are forming to combat this. Police departments across the region, including here at St. Louis County headquarters in Clayton, are donating spaces within their departments to a local nonprofit called Crisis Aid International in an effort to not only bring greater comfort to victims and their families, but also to uncover additional crimes while preventing others. Here's that space inside St. Louis County PD. Here's the office in St. Anne. There's one in Jefferson County and St. Charles County, where we interviewed crisis aid advocate Lauren Peffley. We want you to know that if this is happening, you're not alone. There are resources and you deserve justice for your family and support for everyone in it. Peffley works with survivors through the entire court process, and there are times they learn things when working with families on prevention. Sometimes we start working with a kid who's experienced high risk, and we think there hasn't been a crime committed, and then it comes out a little bit later down the line that actually they have been victimized. If you're not sure if something has happened to your kiddo, but you want to get on top of that prevention and that internet safety in the household, I do a lot of our CAP education programs, our Children's Anti-Exploitation Partnership. Retired St. Louis County Sergeant Adam Cavanaugh is Crisis Aid's law enforcement liaison. He recommends do not wait with your child. When do we start talking to them? Well, you start talking to them before you hand them the device. In the casino sex trafficking case, defendant Mitchell from Memphis is not yet in custody. She is wanted. Defendant Henderson from Florissant is locked up on a $300,000 cash-only bond, and is scheduled to ask a judge for a bond reduction next month. Chris Hayes, News 11.